Hey everybody, it's Kim Hollis with the Nimesh Patel Group at Remax Fine Properties. Welcome to episode six of Discover Richmond, Texas with Kim. Finally, we made it. Due to the pandemic and not being able to interview a whole lot of people, I have been able to reach out to a friend of mine who purchased this beautiful historic home in Richmond, Texas. When you drive through Old Richmond, there are so many historic homes that are full of history and all have a backstory. I'm hoping that we will be able to get to a lot of those. We are starting with this one because I actually know the owner. This is the Richmond house. It is beautiful, elegant, and stately. Let's go inside and talk to the owner and find out more about it. So I'm standing in the Richmond house with owner Chuck Yates. Thank you very much, Chuck, for having us today. Sure. It is a real pleasure to be here and be able to walk through this fantastic home. It is a cool house, so yeah. So why don't you tell me a little bit about why and what motivated you to purchase this house? You know, it was really funny. I was in Houston, lived in Houston, lived in Western University, and was looking to buy a new house. And I was working with Laura Heron. Remember Laura yeah, yeah. From, uh, from school? And she said, what do you want in a house? And this was right around the time Prince died, and I was like, I want a compound. She's like, what the hell is a compound? What do you mean by compound? And I said, I don't know, compound, it'd be really cool. And just, we looked at some places, it didn't really work, and she said, hey, the Richmond house has come for sale, let's at least go see it. And I said, absolutely, and she had had her wedding reception here. So we came, walked around, and obviously I'd been here a hundred times for various things. I figured I'd buy it, and live here for a little while, navigate, you know, because I still have a place in Houston, navigate that, and started living here and just love it. And okay. it, this has been my full-time residence for became four home. years. It became home. Absolutely. That's awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about the history? It is obviously very stately and elegant. It just has a presence when you walk up to it or drive by it. So, so really cool things about this. I'm at closing. I'm going through all the paperwork. The title policy chain literally goes back to the original land grant from Mexico to Jane Long. Oh, wow. This is the, downtown Richmond is right. basically Jane Long's land. This was part of it. So yes. that's really cool. The house was built in 1897 by Judge Pearson. I believe he was a congressman. I believe he was a county judge. And so he built the house. Interesting tidbit, supposedly Judge Pearson did not like wagon wheel tracks. I mean, he just thought that was the worst thing in the world. So if you actually notice, supposedly this is the highest elevation point in downtown Richmond. Um, if you'll notice the street, when you turn off of 90 onto the street, it actually elevates about six right. feet. And yes. you, don't, you don't really notice that but it elevates six feet and then look at how much higher we are than the street from right here. Very he high. hated tire tracks. So all of this is elevated so that the land would basically stay dry when people would pull their carriage up. So that was, that was kind of interesting. The house burned down in 1906. Oh, I didn't realize So that. I don't know what is 1897 versus 1906. Okay. Um, the great, great grandson of Judge Pearson was a friend of mine. He sent me a picture that his grandmother had of the house from either 1897 or 1906. None of the trees are here. Wow. This was blank sandbox, basically. So, wow, so these have grown since. So they were planted at some point, you know, yeah. in the last, call it 100, 125 That's years. Crazy. Which is amazing. Given yeah, how they're big huge. They are. And. Huge. So then, so the Pearsons eventually sold the house at some point to the Trout Lines. They decided to open a restaurant here, fine dining. It was actually called the Richmond House. And so that's where it got its name. Okay. So they tried to sell it various times. A, a, a certain Dr. Charles Yates tried to, tried to buy it back in the day, <laughs> uh, but uh, said he couldn't afford it. <laughs> um, and then- His dad. Yes. <laughs> Mimi, my mother, really wanted it. Um, so anyway, the um, so they tried to sell it various times, couldn't do it. So they literally had an absolute auction on the front steps here. So people out in front of the house and Panama Shiflet 
bought the house. And supposedly, so Panama lived here. We went to high school with his, his son, Marvin. Right. There was, Marvin showed me some really cool photos. There was, I don't know exactly where it was, but there was a hot tub somewhere <laughs> in the house. <laughs> that Panama had. Um, to me, I didn't know that one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. There was a lot of wood paneling. And in fact, if I'd been more prepared for this, I would have gone and found the photos so you could have, could have shown them. But um, so Panama lived here. And then, and then when he passed away, Jackie Disler bought the house. Right. And that was the early 90s. I think it was 92. And she turned it into the event center right. that you and I know. Right. And uh, so anyway, she started having wedding receptions here, parties, that sort of thing. But uh, so, so Jackie owned it and for you know, approximately 25, 30 years had events here. Right. And that's why you know, we've all been here and, and I bought it you know, about four years ago. What is your favorite thing about owning the house, living in the house, being back in the Richmond area? Probably, you know, of course, seeing mom and dad every day. Yeah. Um, but no, two, two things have been, or three things have been really cool. Um, number one, there, I have a bar on the second floor. And so, Kim, I'm sure you'll wind up, take some video yeah. of that. It's very really cool, cool because it was a commercial event center. Yeah. And so, a very nice bar. The subset of that is I have a men's and a women's bathroom <laughs> in the men's restroom. I have a urinal. <laughs> Not a lot of people say in a house. Yeah, that's very rare. So, so from my my room, I could go to my bathroom every once in a while. I wander up and use my urinal just because I can. <laughs> yes, sit there exactly. and flush it and go, this is so cool. This is just great. Good idea for your house, folks. If you're just building, <laughs> uh, that's been really cool. Um, the other thing that's really cool is my next door neighbor, Faye Johnson, is just awesome, yeah. and that really kind of dovetails into what's been neat about this is is we were talking about this earlier there's a cross canadian ragweed song called you're always 17 in your hometown no truer words have been spoken i mean i think i'm a prominent businessman chuck yates moving back to richmond and now i'm that little uh little so-and-so that would ride my bike in yeah. somebody's yard or yeah. wrap somebody's house yeah, or exactly. something and so it's been really cool in that all of the little old ladies that taught me and you in school and we grew up around all call now and say chuck the rosenberg women's gardening club is having their meeting at your house on december 4th <laughs> you notice that wasn't a question <laughs> it's a statement yes ma'am I, I, I won't say the name but i'm still scared of various of these yeah. old ladies. So it's always like there yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am yes. we'll, be, we'll, be, ready. we'll <laughs> be there so it's it's been really neat uh coming back home that's awesome well, Chuck, thank you so much. This has been sure a thing. wonderful treat. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. That was a real treat. The Richmond house really is like something out of a fairy tale. It's nice to see people like Chuck move back to the Richmond area and be as excited and passionate about it as I am. Richmond, Texas really does have a charming past and a soaring future. Well, that's all for now, folks. For you fathers out there, have a wonderful Father's Day and stay tuned for more episodes of Discover Richmond, Texas with Kim.